Evaluate the antiderivative of cosine of 1 over x divided by x squared dx. So let's begin by writing this integral and prepping it. So we have cosine of 1 divided by x, all divided by x squared. So dealing with the fractions, we want to write these as products. Let's make this the antiderivative of x to the minus 2 times the cosine of x to the minus 1. We'll put in our powers instead of our quotients here. So now this thing has been prepped. Notice that it's a product. The only two options for a product are to expand it or to use a substitution. Since there's nothing to expand here, this would suggest we want to use a substitution. So what should our u be? Well, notice that the only thing in parentheses here is the x to the minus 1. So that means our derivative will be negative x to the negative 2. We can multiply both sides by dx and divide both sides by minus 1, and we would get negative du is equal to x to the minus 2 dx. This is the differential we need to fit. Does it fit the integral? Well, let's take a quick look. There's that part and that part, so it does fit. These two terms together can be replaced by negative du, our differential. The x to the minus 1 can be replaced by a u, so we have cosine of u, and we have the new integral the cosine of u times negative du. Let's clean that up a little bit. That's just the antiderivative of negative cosine of u du. Since the antiderivative of cosine is sine, we're going to have negative sine of u. And then we just have to back substitute. So replacing u, we're going to have negative sine of x to the minus 1 as one antiderivative. And then plus c will give us our general antiderivative. And so that's what we have.